Hi everyone, welcome to Python learning series for network engineers. This is one of the sub topic in overall Python learning series in the channel. In this series, we will see how to use IP address module in Python for handling various tasks related to IP address. Using this module, we can check whether user is giving a valid IP and whether a particular host is part of any subnet and you can just check multiple parameters of an IP address. If you try to validate IP address manually in the script, then you need to write multiple complex logic to validate the subnet, then the IP address range and type of IPs. This is having built in functionalities like to validate whether IP address is a multicast, it is a private IP, public IP or any other details like loop, backlink, local. They are having all these functionalities available built in and this can even validate IPv6 addresses. Similar to that, we have another logic here for subnet to define a subnet and then to validate the host, then get the host list of a subnet in this way and check the overlaps, the IP address what you gave and then you can validate that against one of the subnet, then address exclude option, multiple options are available with this module. So in the first video, we'll see what is IP address and how we can use all these functionalities. Then in the second video, we'll see how to use IP networks. Then in the third video, we'll see how to write a basic script. Here we have a basic script which validates the IP address given by the user. For example, here this prompts user to enter an IP. Here if I give one, it says a message invalid IP and if I give 1.1, this will say enter an IP in the range of 192.168.0.0 slash 24. And once I give this IP 0.1, this will get added to the IP list in the script. And if you need to get that list, I can give a list here and this will list the IP which is available. Now if I want to add another IP to the list, I can add 10. If I give list, it will list the IP. Let me add one more IP. 0 0.5 and now this contains three IPs and if I try giving the same IP again, this will say IP already exists. This is a very simple script which is written and you can see here the script is having only 28 lines of code. We'll see how to write this script. So let's get started with IP address. First I'll import the IP address module. So import IP address. Then I'll create a variable here IP underscore address one equal to then IP address dot can see the types here so if I'm going to give an IP address static then I can give this option or if I'm defining a subnet I can give IP underscore network so here I'm going to give only IP address so IP address and then I'll make it as an input from the user and I'll ask for a message Now I'll try printing the value whatever given by the user. This is formatted string then now let us try running it. If I give an invalid IP, I'm getting value error message. So here the script is able to identify the, the Python library IP address module is able to identify. It is not a valid IP address. Now if I try running it again, so here this prints. So the script is able to identify the valid IP address. 
now here if you want to see the type of this object I'll just do a print type of IP address one and here it, the class is IP address dot IPv4 address so this is able to identify this as IPv4 address now if you want to see the operation supported we can do print dir of IP address and here I will try to hard code this value I will click on this line press ctrl D and I will comment this line and I will give the value here 10.1.1.1 So now we don't have to give the IP address every time. We can just violate the options available here. So here we can see maximum prefix length. So this will give the total number of bits in an IP address. Then here we have a reverse pointer which will give a reverse DNS record of the particular IP and we have multiple other options here we will see some of the options now if you need to print the prefix length IP address dot max prefix length now the prefix length is 32 this is IPv4 address so the prefix length is 32 and in the next line let us see reverse pointer and this is the reverse DNS record of this particular IP now we will see some more additional options in IP address we will go to the documentation and here we have one option exploded so this will give the string format the string representation of the IP address let us verify that earlier we have seen the type was IP address dot IPv4 address here the output of this print now we will create another variable here exploded and then IP underscore address dot one and exploded and we'll try printing type of this let's try running it now here you can see this is now string so this is converting the actual IP address into a normal string now we will see the option is multicast if this is a multicast IP this will return true currently the IP address is 10.1 it is a private IP so it should give false we will check that print is multicast this is false now I will change this IP to multicast IP zero dot one 
and now this became true so script is able to identify the multicast IP and similar way we'll try is private if this is a private IP this will return true it is false now we'll change this to a private IP so this is now true now similar to that there is another option is global and that is false now so we'll try giving on global IP 100.1 and now this is became true and similar to that is link local and link local is false now we will try giving one link local IP here 169.254.0.1 now link local became true and here we will try giving is loopback now we are getting false we will try giving a loopback IP here 127 dot and now this became true so in this way you can verify all these parameters from the output IP address output now we'll verify one how to validate the IP address syntax for that we'll do a try accept method IP address 2 equal to IP IP address dot IP underscore address and we'll copy paste this uh, same then we'll give an accept here and if it is not a valid IP we will be getting a value error so if there is any value error we will print invalid IP So let us try running it. It is asking for IP address. So I will give one and I am getting the message saying it is invalid IP. Now let me try giving a valid IP. Now there is no error that means it is a valid IP. So in this way you can validate the IP the user given IP address whether whether it is a right IP or not in the next video we'll see how to validate the subnets I hope this video was helpful for you to understand basics about IP address library thanks for watching see you in the next video